Have you ever wondered why everyone is saying that antibiotics can pose a threat to your health lately? Don't antibiotics save millions of lives each year? After all, they're supposed to treat all sorts of bacterial infections. Well, let me tell you that you need to be especially careful with the use of antibiotics. If you're not using them correctly, you're destroying every living bacteria in charge of keeping you healthy. Think about it. You're destroying digestion, skin health, immune function, urinary health, and much more. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five of the most frightening consequences of overusing antibiotics and when you should actually use them to stay healthy, naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor and founder of DrLandNivar.com. In this channel is a conventional doctor to my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need online appointment quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandNivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Antibiotics are considered to be a keystone part of modern medicine today. The problem is that their excessive use continues to generate unwanted side effects of all sorts that doctors are now just starting to comprehend. The US Centers for Disease and Control and Prevention has warned of a nightmare bacteria appearing all over the world due to the excessive use of antibiotics. The misuse of this medication has led to the evolution of super bacterial strains that withstand the powerful medications existing today. Not to mention, obviously, the damages we all face by using them when we don't really need them, like skin conditions, digestive problems, immune function, and much more. So in today's video, I'm real five of the most frightening consequences of overusing antibiotics and when you should use them to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Number one, antibiotics can destroy your digestion. You see, your intestines contain close to 100 trillion living bacteria. Now, obviously, while some can be deadly, including the ones we usually treat with antibiotics, there's a natural balance to our gut, and it can be thrown away if you use antibiotics the way you shouldn't be. These helpful bacteria, known as gut flora, support your immunity and proper digestion. Aggressive antibiotics have the power to damage this probiotic flora without return, making digestion obviously a serious concern. We tend to forget that healthy bacteria live in our system and make vitamins, help absorb nutrients, digest, etc. So you have to be careful with antibiotics and only use them when it's strictly necessary. Don't forget that. Many individuals, especially children, are vulnerable and should not be using antibiotics if they don't need them. If you need a good quality probiotic formula you can take, especially designed to improve digestion and gut flora, look for ProBillion from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, there's an increased risk for allergies. The relationship between antibiotic use and allergies is simply incredible. You have no idea how much a healthy bacteria or you know that gut flora that you need can help you stay allergy free. Some studies are now pointing to the fact that the use of antibiotics in children increase the risk for allergies, for asthma, eczema, and believe me, I've seen it happen very, very often. And you see, the problem with this is that with any one of us that commonly faces a strong cold, a sinus infection, or respiratory infection, we are quickly given antibiotics and it has its consequences. A 2009 study published in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology found that when antibiotics were used in the first year of a child's life, there was an increased risk for asthma and eczema by age just six or seven. It has an effect, maybe not immediate, but it does. And you see what happens is that our immune response, even as we get older, is influenced by the mucous membranes we have in our digestive lining. Our digestive lining should be packed with healthy bacteria designed to protect us and keep your defenses well functioning. And if you take antibiotics, that's not gonna happen. Number three, there's a higher risk for cancer. Now, curiously enough, while antibiotics themselves have not been tied directly to the cause in cancer, studies have shown and found that there's a link between higher antibiotic use and an increased risk for cancer, which are two different things. 
This has been particularly seen with respects to breast cancer. It's been found in women, for example, who take antibiotics more frequently, anywhere between just 1 to 25 times over a 17 year period, which is close to just once every year, is without a doubt a very high elevated risk for breast cancer. Researchers believe that this is because of the effects of antibiotics on immune function and inflammation and metabolism of estrogen specifically can be a cause. What I believe is that on top of all of these factors, we are not taken into consideration that antibiotics can stay in our system, maybe inside our organs or even our skin for decades to come. And the thing is, we don't really know the exact effect that antibiotics can cause over the years. They're basically toxic medications that have their consequences after so many years been using them in the human body. So think about that. If you need something extremely effective that has the power to clean out everything in your liver, but not only that, in your entire body at the same time, that contains a 50 to 1 concentration of the best herb found in nature for this purpose, look for a Thistle Essence from Fineland at Dr. Landivara.com. Number 4. Antibiotics teach good bacteria to go bad. There's something very important that happens and that scientists are now starting to observe. Believe it or not, perfectly healthy bacteria can mutate and start acting aggressively in the human body. You see, bacteria evolve and have evolved with our defenses against antibiotics through a process called horizontal gene transfer. What this means is that bacteria don't need to reproduce to pass along their genetic protection against antibiotics. They can simply teach other fellow bacteria the same way students at school, for example, would learn from a teacher. And this is terrible because some perfectly healthy bacteria we have go wild and start acting aggressively against us, thinking that by doing this, they can be able to survive a lot more than they need to. And this obviously not mentioning that our modern use of antibiotics has also created superbugs, bacteria that mutate from one generation to the next. Number five, higher risk for heart disease. There's a new scientific study that is shocking and has shocked the medical field with its discoveries. The New England Journal of Medicine published an article where they found that taking erythromycin, which is a commonly prescribed antibiotic, increases your risk of dying from cardiovascular complications. And it does so by 250%. 250. Not 10, not 20, but 250%. And this makes us think, I mean, what is so damaging about antibiotics? Shouldn't they be saving your life? Well, the exact answer to this question needs a whole lot of research to it. We need to be sure of what common antibiotics is affecting our generations today and the exact way it's doing it. This needs more investigation, more research, a lot more time to get through with it. Now, one thing is obvious, and that's that our gut health, our gut flora, is affected. And everything that goes through our gut and our digestion has an effect on our circulatory system, our health overall, our heart, and everything that has to do with blood pressure, sugar, sugar control, and even diabetes. So be very careful with antibiotic use. It's not something that you have to take lightly. And help out the channel by giving this a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line of point, visit DrLandMar.com and check out these other videos related to stopping and information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.